from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning. I'm James Tully. You might see some showers across the Bay Area today. Greg D's full forecast is on ABCActionNews.com and our free mobile app right now. Here are your ABC Action News headlines, starting with this. Governor Ron DeSantis signed four bills into law yesterday banning vaccine and mask mandates in the state of Florida. The laws obstruct the Biden administration's federal vaccine mandate, which requires businesses with more than 100 employees to mandate vaccines by the 4th of January. Democrats say that laws don't protect the health and well-being of Floridians and call the special legislative session, quote, a waste of taxpayer dollars for a political stunt. For private companies with a vaccine mandate, the law requires employees the ability to opt out. The Department of Health posted the vaccine opt-out forms to its website, and people can fill these out and give to, to their employer. The DOH says it'll work with Attorney General Ashley Moody to make sure the new laws are, in fact, followed. And companies with less than 100 people may be fined up to $10,000 each time they do not accept one of those forms. Larger companies with over 100 employees could face fines up to $50,000. Three Tampa business chambers are endorsing the two city concept that would mean the Rays split their season between Tampa and Montreal. The Tampa Bay Chamber, South Tampa Chamber of Commerce and the Tampa Bay LGBT Chamber say they want the Rays and the Rowdies to stay. The chambers want to build a new outdoor ballpark, quote, in the region. In 2018, a different group of business owners pitched Ybor City as a possible location for that ballpark, but that plan fizzled out. Remember, local news is streaming free 24-7 right here on our free streaming news channel.